recently I posted about how I wanted to help men and kind of bridge the gap of toxic masculinity and everything like that. And so I tried a, you know, trial and error post yesterday of my experience. Um, and it's interesting, you know, I commented on my stories about how a lot of you reacted so kindly and then, you know, there have been hit or miss, but, um, I just don't think I have it in me, uh, to try to help society understand how we treat men is like so dangerous to men um because nobody told me how lonely being a man is and then to have all these comments about well and to have all these comments about like um justifying the coldness to men which is valid but to just be remembered like, oh, that's right. Everybody just sees you as the villain. But to have known, and I think a lot of trans men feel this, is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us. <laughs> and to have people want to talk to us. And to have a community. And then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you. And friendships are so much harder to build. And people are colder. <laughs> and more detached. And I just don't think I have it in me to try to continuously be vulnerable on this topic. Because it's so, so, so long, long story short. This is all the energy I have to give on the topic. Like, just try to think about how you can, in your small little community, where you feel safe can reach out to the men in your life and just help them feel maybe seen for a moment or do do little little conversations to help their emotional maturity so that they can reach out to people and have deeper guy friendships because I joke that I have I had closer friendships with random women I met in the bathroom before I transitioned at clubs because of how open women are than I've had in my eight years of transitioning because women are just so much more vulnerable and deep than men and what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men all of that's valid but I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. Because this shit is lonely. And I'm an emotionally mature man. I know how to build friendships. And it is still really, really hard. And then you add in all of the things that make it more complicated and interests and not drinking or being vegan or being trans or whatever and oh my gosh it is lonely so two things can be true at the same time we have to hold men accountable but we can't hold them accountable to fix a problem they don't have the tools to fix so if you've gotten this far thank you probably not going to be focusing on this topic again i think i'm just too vulnerable for it i'm too still trying to process everything in regards to how society treats me as a man and sees me as like not safe <laughs> oh, this is like really hard anyways um i'm just gonna think i'm gonna go back to like just focusing on like trans stuff um but <laughs> I appreciate everybody who stayed on and all of your kindness and um, I'm going to keep doing my best that I can to bring awareness in ways that are okay for me. So I love and appreciate all of you and I guess I have to remind myself to take a deep breath.